we're going to do intercepting the ram. Okay, so we've escalated our, our tackle techniques. Again, these aren't against the traditional double leg. What you have to understand, okay, tackles are going to be more waist level. In a true double leg scenario, you're going to be up and underneath the guy. A little different kind of attack, okay? So we're going to go against a tackle. Charging ram, his hands were close. Uh, broken ram, his hands are a little wider. You got that seatbelt. Intercepting the ram is he catches us off guard, okay? The other two techniques, you start in a fighting stance. Now we're saying we're just kind of standing around like, hey, what's going on? He goes to tackle me and I get caught. What that does, my body, I just go to path least resistance. I hammer fist his kidney and knee his chest, okay? To be perfectly honest with you guys, I probably wouldn't knee because that's the first thing he's going to do is, is clip and catch my knee and take me down, okay? But we're doing the ideal phase of the technique, which states, okay, well, yeah. Parry his head to the side, which is a great strategy. That you control his head, you control his body. Knee and hammer at the same time. Then you get caught like this on the tool, and you hit him at the same time. You step back, again, check his head down. Elbow right between the shoulder blades. It's a very, very effective technique, okay? From here, basically, if the guy tries to go back to your center, I rear cross behind myself, I check his head out of the way, I unwind with a downward punch right to his jaw, with my scoop kick, bang. May seem like a minor move, but it's there for you, just as it's right there. Boom, why not hit it? Okay? This is a major move, this might be a minor move. Maybe he picks his head up, you catch him underneath the chin, right in the grill. It's a good technique. He comes in. One, bang, hammer fist and check. If you can get the head out of the way, great, but usually with the tackle, he's gonna pick a side. He's not gonna put the head in the center. If he doesn't, you have to choke. Okay? Puts the head to the side. One, two, rear cross, check the head, punching down. One more angle. Hanging out. Oh, one, two, rear cross, out of the way. Boom, right down in his jaw with a scoop kick. Crossing out. Gonna go ahead and do it. Street speed and everything. Yeah. All right, what you just saw with the second version is what I did is just basically a basic sprawl position. So as Cliff comes in, I basically just sprawl back, have my left hand under, hooked under his right, and my right hand kind of choking his neck. When I go back, he thinks I'm going to choke him. He begins to grab my arms to try to stop it. That's when I come up with the knee. Boom! My right hand goes back to his point of origin. As I hold with the right, I notice my, right, my left hand holding, right hand comes on top to control elbows of the spine. Continue to put pressure on top. If he's trying to fight, come over, get the hooks in, crack, crack, come right out. One, two. Just another interpretation and base idea. Hope you like it. <laughs>